Good morning, 47. Your target is Joanne Bayswater, a rogue assassin banished by, how shall I put it, one of our competing agencies. For many years, she was one of their top operatives. However, her self-confidence led to arrogance, putting civilians' lives at risk. Her handler, believing she was becoming a hazard, brought it up with the board. Miss Bayswater did not take well to this betrayal and went out of her way to seek revenge on the one she felt had stabbed her in the back. Now she has broken free and set up her own business as a final insult to our client, destroying the natural order. They have made multiple attempts to get rid of her, but she is always one step ahead, and this is why they have turned to us. They might be too proud to admit it, but they need the best. One does not defy the gods without consequences. Good luck, 47. Good evening, 47. Welcome to Argentina. Joanne Bayswater is currently Ever attending a party at Vinedo Yates to get clients for her new agency. Bad for our client and bad for us. Unfortunately, we were unable to obtain an invitation for you, so you will need to be creative. And remember, Ms. Bayswater is a professional. She knows that mingling in the crowd keeps us safe. Good luck, 47. All right. Good job, sir. Thank you. That is Joanne Bayswater, rogue assassin. She is one of the best, and it is a mystery that she has never been on our radar until now. You need to be careful with this one, 47. No, see, Byron runs Providence. I appreciate it. And Joanne, the rest of us aren't privy to her, and he believes so. Sake. Target eliminated. The money is being wired to your account, 47. Now head towards an exit. Good morning, 47. 
Your target is Cody Haynes, obsessive art collector currently in the process of procuring the complete oeuvre of Cecil Bardou. Haynes went underground six years ago to escape his wife's family, after embezzling their fast food empire to pay for his art habit. Freed from all social ties, his collecting took a turn to a dark extreme. Intel shows that he not only needs to possess the artworks, but that he cannot accept any previous owners being left alive. Our client, the gallerist who originally sold the artworks of Cecil Bardou, is worried the killings will taint his business. Furthermore, he owns one of the paintings in his private collection, putting his name on Haynes' kill list. Your target's insatiable need to possess is leaving a bloody trail, and he must be stopped. Good luck, 47. Good afternoon, 47. Your target is currently at Thornbridge Manor to steal a painting by Cecil Bardou. It turns out he's quite the master of disguise. He's pretending to be a wildlife inspector and is equipped with a fake court order to search the premises for a stolen ghost orchid. The client has informed me there will be a bonus if you manage to procure the painting too. Good luck. Is anyone there? Who's throwing stuff around? Good, you got the painting. Now take care of the target. Setting up. Command, we might have a situation. I'll check the perimeter. Over.
Are they even kids anymore? How old is this kid? That is Cody Haynes, obsessive collector and master of disguise. I'd like to have a look. It's just typical uh, that Annie gets the most of the dog or work. I'm the pretty one. But work, 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 that's all I get from Fernsey. Make sure we all get the job. No weeds on gravel. Target eliminated and the painting secured. Well done, 47. The money is being transferred to your account. Now find an exit. Good evening, 47. Your target is Philo Newcomb, a wedding planner whose CV reads like a Shakespearean tragedy. While his job is to make dream weddings a reality, he is not in the business of fairy tale endings. When one half of a couple catches his eye, Newcomb will ingratiate himself with them. Then during the course of his work, he will covertly murder their partner to clear the way for his romantic overtures. Our client was once the subject of Newcomb's infatuation and lost the love of her life as a result. Having some suspicions, she's followed Newcomb's career closely ever since, 
and noticed a pattern of ill-fated lovers emerging in his wake. When she heard he'd been hired by a couple planning a destination wedding in Argentina, she contacted us about putting an end to new consanguine love stories. Good luck, 47. To Mendoza, 47. It seems you've arrived just in time. Your target is showing off the grounds of Vinedo Yates to his current clients and potential victims, Michelle Pacheco and Phoebe Morris. I doubt Newcomb's assassination is on the couple's gift registry, but given his intentions, it's better than silverware. Good luck. Gosh, be careful. The ground's super loose here. If we fall, we're going to see my... Ready, Pam? Three, two, one, and... Mr. Yates? It's Aaron, sir, fr from the firm. I came as quickly as I could. Yes, sir, I have the file. Sorry it took so long, but I've had to access our remote server to print everything. I couldn't... Evidently, the target came prepared. And what have we here? A scrapbook. Newcomb certainly wouldn't be the first serial killer to keep trophies. It's Aaron, sir, from the firm. I came as quickly as I could. Yes, sir, I have the files. Sorry it took so long, but I had to access our remote server to print mm. everything, and I, I couldn't get my VPN to... All right. Sorry. Sir. Hola, Recruto. That is Philo Newcomb, would-be Romeo and established killer. Here, I think it might interest you. Huh? Michelle, we're getting the hell out of here now. Bad news. I messed up and got. At ease. Okay. Target eliminated. Expect the client's payment and a tasteful thank you card shortly. <laughs> 